So if you start with this amount and compound it at an at and compound it at an allowed interest rate of this percent, um, let's continue. All right, we're exceeding this line here. So let's let's break it here, somewhere around here. To break it, we type in a backslash hit enter. Um, to break it, type in a backslash here, hit enter. So let's just continue. At an unknown interest rate of this, and then what we want to do is continue our string and say, um, so if you start with this amount at an, and compound it at an unknown interest rate of this, let's say 2%, um, and then say something like compounded, however many times, right? So that's our number of compounds. So compounded number of compounds times, right? Number of compound times. So compounded, let's say two times or compounded 12 times. All right, so we're concatenating values to strengths here. We need to make sure that this is formatted as well and also make sure that it's a string because the format function will return a string. I'm going to wrap the format function around this. Format function takes in what you want to format, how you want it formatted. So number of compounds is, is an integer actually. Um, and so we want it formatted as a decimal integer. So I'm going to put the D here. Um, there is no precision with integers. So uh, if you try to do that, you're going to get an error. So format this as a decimal integer. And this is going to return a string. So compounded, let's say two times. Um, and then we want to continue our string for however many years, right? So for, I mean, let's concatenate to however many years, years of compounding. Um, and then continue our string for however many years, comma, you'll end up with, right? But before we continue, let's make sure we format this years of compounding. So we need to format that. I know we're exceeding, hold on. Before we format it, let's just break this line here. So to break the line, type in a backslash and enter. Let's break it again here. Type in a backslash and enter. All right. You am, let's see, times four, if you compound it, however many times for this number of years, let's format this value. So format the years of compounding. Years is an int, All right? So Actually, no, we set years to a floating point value. So let's make sure that's formatted to a floating point value. So as a floating point value, let's round that to, is it 2.25 years? Let's round that to two decimal places. So point two decimal places. Um, so that's our years of compounding. You end up with, and so let's, concatenated to the final amount, the amount of money after compound. You end up with this amount here. Let's make sure we format in this value. This is the actual final value. So we want this formatted to uh, two decimal places as a floating point value. So two decimal places as a floating point value. Since this is, an, is a monetary value, let's automatically also put commas where necessary. So I'm going to put a comma here and then I'm going to put a dollar sign in front of it. So you end up with this amount of money. And then we can even put a full stop if you want, as I'm just going to concatenate it with a period. All right, we're exceeding this line here, so let's break it somewhere around here. Type in backslash, hit enter. <clears throat> All right, so I know it's a, it's a long string, but that's really how you put together a, a string like that. Um, maybe we have some errors. Let's run this and see where we are so far. So save this, and I'm going to save it where I save my program. So code, Python, YouTube, Python programming challenges. This is a chapter two program. So I'm going to create a folder in here and call it, I believe it's compound interest. So create, and I'm going to save this as compound interest. Um, the pie. All right, so let's see where we are. How much are you starting with? So let's do a hundred dollars as what we're starting with. What's the annual interest rate? Uh, let's set it for five percent, right? The user has to type in five 
the program is going to go ahead and divide it by 100 to get 0 0.05 use 0 0.05 in our calculation when we are displaying it and we are t talking about the interest rate we are taking the 0 0.05 since we're formatting as a percentage it's going to automatically multiply by 100 and round, uh, round to zero decimal places. So it's going. It's actually going to say compounded at five percent over here. Just as just to display to us. All right. So our interest rate is five percent. Hit enter. How many times will the interest be compounded? Let's compound it uh, yearly for, uh, to twelve times. Oh, sorry, monthly. Right. So that's twelve times monthly. And then how many years do you want to leave it in there? Let's leave it in there for ten years. Hit enter. Okay. So we're going to break, okay, all right, there's a few things going on that's really off here. We're going to fix our formula in a bit. <laughs> all right, so let's see. So far, um, if you start with $100 and compound it at an annual interest rate of 5%, all right, so let's just fix the formula in a little bit. 5% here. Put a comma, space. Compound it 12 times for 10 years. So for the years compounded it's however many times for 10 years we want to put the years here for 10 years comma you end up with this is the amount right now that this amount is like way off <laughs> we're going to fix it in a bit I'm sure it's the formula uh, amount of money at the compound um, okay cool um, let's see here okay um, so let's just uh, try this again make sure that uh, the changes that we put in um, works so um, <laughs> that number threw me off there <laughs> okay so hundred dollars interest rate five percent compound uh, it's going to be compounded 12 times and for 10 years okay so at least we fixed these hundred dollars compounded as an interest rate of five percent compounded 12 times for 10 years Let's put a space here you end up with this um, I think we don't once we have once we fix the value here we don't need to break it you know, break it on a separate line all right so let's look at our formula because it looks like this number is like way off like if I could if I could invest a hundred dollars and get this after 10 years I'm all in look at this number what is this what does this even mean like <laughs> this is all the money in the world I think uh, you'd be the richest person on like uh, on earth <laughs> in the universe as a matter of fact for forever man <laughs> okay so let's fix the formula so the formula here is a is equals to p right so that's p, p amount of money of the compound is equal to our user principal and i know we, because we broke it it's uh it's a bit off here so let's let's put it on a separate let's put it back on a on one line remove the backslashes put it back on one line make sure the formula is correct before we even break it all right so let's see all right so a which is this value here is equal to p user principal times one plus okay so that's the mistake that's the mistake over here it's supposed to be user principal. I'm sure people are laughing at me right now. <laughs> user principal, all right, times in parentheses one plus R. R is the annual interest rate, not the user principal. So this is the annual interest rate divided by NN is the number of compounds, that's correct, times, oh, sorry, raised to the power. This is raised to the power. N times T, number of compounds times T is the specified, specified number of years, so years of compounding. So now this should fix it. Um, let's just try it first before we break break the line. So, so $100, interest rate 5%, compounded 12 times. How many years do you want to leave it? Uh, 10 years. Hit enter. And that's much better, right? That's I mean, <laughs> the amount is smaller, but the it's it sounds it's more accurate of course I, I, I wish um, I would wish that it's the other number <laughs> but this this looks much better um, 164 sounds about right um, so I think this is correct let's break this line back to break this line I'm going to type in the backslash hit enter type in the backslash hit enter um, let me try 
some numbers that I know is correct. I believe it's 14,192. So let's see. I believe it's 10,000. Uh, no, I forgot the numbers. Uh, 547, 547. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 14,159. This is about this is about right. So if you start with $10,000 and compound it at an annual interest rate of 5%, compound it four times for seven years. Uh, we should really say compound it four times a year for seven years. You end up with this amount. So let's just try again. 100, uh, 5%. Uh, 12 times for 10 years. Yep. So compound it 12 times a year for 10 years, you end up with $164.70. So that's about right. Okay. Whew. <laughs> that number was crazy. Okay. So if you have any questions, please post down below and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time in the next video. All right then. Bye-bye.